Yo, what's up guys? My name is AFC and Dino. First of all, I would like to wish you all a very nice 2021 guys. Happy New Year everyone. And of course we gotta start off fresh, good, in the gym. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, today, um, I have a PvP battle for you guys. Or actually, I've recorded a few battles and in the next couple of days, uh, it will be spread basically uh, the, the battles but yeah uh, it's a battle battles with a sharpedo team actually a life of sharpedo with speed boost i had it since the beginning of unova um but i never used it it's also not good with a lot of conkelders running around uh, fairy thorns and stuff the fables but i want to bring it out and yeah uh, you guys get to see whether it puts in some action or not but anyway um let's hop right into the battles guys yo what's up guys afc dino here bringing out the sharpedo team um playing against cochetas Receptos is annoying but i do have my Bowden, which should be able to check it. Uh, I'm actually not really afraid. I think leading with Zapdos is fine because if he does leave Weavile, which is the only thing that threatens my Zapdos, uh, I do have a Suicune, a Bolt Suicune, Rest, a defensive Suicune, so uh, should always be able to bring it in on his Weavile. He leads up with Zapdos, and I'm just gonna hit him up with the Volt Switch. I'm not sure what the Zapdos wants to do. But if he switches into Excadrill, I can heat wave it. If he goes into Lando, oh, okay, he stays in. If he goes into Lando, I can HP Ice. But um, he stays in. I'm gonna bring in my Hippowden. Hippowden should be easily able to deal with this. Discharging. And that's 59. So I can just get up rocks. I assume he wants to roost there. Uh, but I can. I can poison him later. I first get out with rocks and then poison him if he does stay in. He does switch out though. But the next time he comes in, he has to switch into rocks. Which is uh, something to remember. But he goes hard with Weavile. Um, like I said, I do have my Suicune. A pretty aggressive play, man. Just going straight into Weavile. What if I had Stone Edge? <laughs> what if, what if? But if I was going to attack, I would have clicked Toxic. But I have rocks up, which is nice. He goes for Icicle Crush. Unfortunately, he misses because I, I wanted to hit him to hit him so I could actually see whether he was Choice Bandit or Life Orb. Now I don't get that information. Um, looking at his team, he doesn't really appreciate Skull. Even if he goes Stand to Cruel, I can burn it. Plus, he switches into Rocks and Sandstorm. But he does bring in the Stand to Cruel. did nothing i do get the burn though and he takes the sandstorm damage so a lot of chip on his tanty crew and i don't know if he wants a rapid spin here i don't want suicune to get knocked off either but i'm gonna bring in my ferret thorn i can get up spikes if he wants a rapid spin so i keep up hazards he actually has giga drain what it's uh wow pretty sure that wouldn't have done much to my suicune anyway but uh, yeah, at this point, I'm just setting up a spike as he goes into his Lando, which is fine. Not sure why he goes into Lando. Does, is this his Stealth Rocker? Maybe this is his Rocker and Excadrill, his Rapid Spinner. Anyway, I set up another layer. Uh, we didn't see Black Sludge on the Tentacruel, by the way, so that might be a Salt Fest. And now he might want to go into his Tentacruel or his... Excadrill to rapid spin it away. So what I could do, I could obviously bring in Hippowden, but um, like I said earlier, Zapdos has such a good matchup against this team. So I'm gonna bring in Zapdos as he does go Excadrill. So uh, this this is why I didn't go for the last layer because he just goes into his rapid spin and he just spins them all away. But if he wants a rapid spin now, uh, he has to take a heat wave to the face. <laughs> Plus, I should be I should be faster unless he's scarfed. 
Okay, he does outspeed me, meaning this Excadrill is scarfed and he actually crit me. Kinda annoying, uh, cause that crit, now he did more damage to me than I gained from leftovers. And now I'm gonna Volt Switch. Uh, he lived with 3%, but he's locked into Rapid Spin, so if he switches, I'll get, I'll gain the momentum here basically. And what is he gonna bring in on this? Well, actually I could have Heat Waved as well, but he might just bring in his Septos, since the hazards are gone. Oh, he just goes into Weavile. Looking at his team, maybe I should have he waved. Because I could have just changed the text if he went there into Cruel. Oh well, I still get damage on this Weavile. I, I I could bring in Conkeldor here. But then I need to predict. And if I click Mark Bunch on the lander is coming in. And he can U-turn from there and it's just gonna be annoying. I'm no, not going to bring in my Conkeldor. I think I'll just go Suicune here. Uh, Suicune was meant to deal with uh, the Weaver. So what I could do here is... Uh, assuming he wants to go into Tentacruel. Still, oh, he actually goes for knockoff. So he was... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he was risking it all there. Oh well, I'm resting here because knockoff is a 2-hit KO from there. I guess I should have just called it. Because his tent crew was already pretty low. Making some misplays, guys. <laughs> I played in a while either. Let's go for knockoff. Yeah, and it would have been a 2 hit KO. So I get my rest off. And I'll just attack it just to burn a sleep turn. Because I'm. Because <laughs> it's gonna help in case I need Suicune to wake up later on. It does bring in the Zeptos, though. I assume he wants to go for Roost. But I'm not gonna stay in and tank a discharge here. So what I could do is just bring in my Hippowden. Uh Hippowden shouldn't get to it KO'd by hidden power rise, even with the rocks. Even after taking rocks. So Hey, yeah, does go for a roost, and I can just get on my rocks again. Uh Excadrill basically dies to rocks. Let's go for HP. He's life orb. I was gonna say that did a lot. That's actually a problem. Because Hippodon was supposed to be there for Septos. And it was supposed to be there for Conkeldor as well. Oh, this is actually painful. And for the Excadrill, but Excadrill is already dead now. Uh, this is annoying. Do I just bring in Zapdos on this? With the life orb, I might just die. Except this might just die after rocks. Okay. The rocks. I, I don't want to risk Septos. Um because if Septos dies, I don't know I'm gonna how I'm going to deal with this with his Septos. Because my Sharpedo cannot knock it out if it's not weakened. And it's pretty healthy right now. And I assume he has Heat Wave as well. Uh, since he's running Life Orb, so it's most likely running Roost and 3 attacks. Oh man. I think I just have the second Hippowden. I don't see myself healing this Hippowden either. Yeah, he does go for Heat Wave here for the coverage. Let's take Life Orb plus Sand. And now I have to go into my own Zapdos. And I'm just roosting first in case he switches out there. Keep Zapdos healthy. That's really annoying, man. Is in. Goes for a roost himself, I see. The advantage I have though is he takes damage from Life Orb and I actually recover every turn with leftovers. But I'll hit him up with HP Ice here. 36 as he discharges and crits me. Ugh. Yeah, a lot still, man. Um, I'm gonna roost there. As he roosts himself. I'm gonna roost again.
as he clicks discharge. Still does a lot, man. It's insane. Okay, let's see. He did. That was a crit, right? Yeah, that was a crit. So I'm HP icing here. He shouldn't kill me here. Five. Okay, I'm discharging here. Uh, hit a hit power icing here. Because. Wait, I did. Oh, I got a low roll. No. That's unfortunate. However, I'm gonna roost there. Oh, I'll play it slow. As he sex X realm roost. Oh, this is actually perfect for me. Should have I should have roost at the last turn as well, because if he made that play, I would have been in such a bad position, because then my Septus would be in pursuit range for a Weavile. Because I need to get the speed boost off. Okay, he does go into his Weevil now. So, this is the last time Weevil can come in. Uh, knowing this, I'm gonna bring in my... Obviously, I should bring a Suicune, right? But maybe I, I can bring a Ferrothorn. Uh, Ferrothorn doesn't do much either now. This is Weevil's basically... It's not gonna be this uh, Conkeldor, so... That way I keep Suicune with HP. Because he might still wake up, right? He's already burned one sleep turn, so he might wake up on the next turn or the turn afterwards. And I think Suicune does live a discharge from full HP. Worst case scenario, so oh, it actually goes for pursuit there. Um, I should be outside of of stealth rock range with Septos. but he's locked into pursuit now. That was definitely choice bandit. So what I could do. That those is in pursuit range. Uh, if I so, I'm gonna spike up here. It actually goes straight into the Conkeldor. Uh, the reason I wanted to spike up is uh, because uh, I want to be able to pressure this Conkeldor. But yeah, he brought it in like this. I uh, would have been nice if I actually got him with the leech sheet. But I'm gonna leech it now. I should live a drain punch, and uh, it makes no sense to protect here because he's close to full HP anyway. So, now he's he took a bit of damage there, and with the lead sheet, he's taking more damage, and now I can protect. And I don't really care too much if he does switch, end up switching out here, so I'll, I'll go for protect. I got the damage, and he's gonna switch into spikes on Stout Rock again. Okay, let's see. Uh, so I'm gonna lose a man here. <laughs> this is why I needed Hippowden to deal with Skunkeller. But I didn't expect the life for upon the Zapdos. Should we do this? I think I just sack this. Maybe go for a double protect. Actually, don't get it, but uh, I got some damage off. I have to bring out my own Conkeldor. If I, I know, if I know that I'm faster, then I would obviously go for Boca. But I, I don't know, so I think I have to just go for Drain Punch. Uh, if I'm faster than Bokup, is obviously the play, reducing his damage and increasing mine on the next turn. Drain Punch is not my strongest deck because Guts is not activated yet, but he goes for a Drain Punch. He recovers, but I did outspeed him and I get Lead Sheet recovery, so I should be outside of Mock Punch range. And because I outsped him, I'm gonna assume that I'm faster. So instead of Mock Punching here, he might just bring in his Lando, right? So I can bring in. I can go for Facade, basically. If he brings in the land up. And the next time Conkeldor comes in, it's gonna be into Spikes and Stealth Rock. It's indeed a defensive land though. 
If I had Ice Punch, I would obviously click Ice Punch there. 100%. Um, uh, but no. Is Conkeldor is gonna die to Stealth Rock plus Spikes plus Baron, right? Uh, might be better to just, just to sack Conkeldor right now. Because then Sharpedo can clean up. If Sharpedo can protect. If he knocks me out with Earthquake, I can protect on this Lando. Uh, get the speed boost at speed. And pr I can protect once more against the uh, Galder and let him die to burn, basically. I'll just stay in a facade. As he goes for you, they're expecting me to switch, I guess. As he sacks Weaver, because he was obviously going to die to Stealth Rock. Oh, the Lando comes in. I'm just gonna sack this. If he U turns again, then I get a big damage. He goes for Earthquake. And now I should be able to bring in my Sharpedo. I'm just gonna protect uh, just in case he runs max speed on this Lando. I've seen some people do it max speed on Lando, on a defensive Lando with Rocky Helmet. So, does end up staying in, and now I should outspeed him. I'm just gonna click Waterfall. This, I think this is it. The Tactic Crew comes in. But we do have Psychic Fangs. I'm just gonna protect there. I just to ensure. Um, maybe he has the super effective Psychic type for Dewsberry. So. Because he doesn't have Black Sledge. I assume it's Assault Fest, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, always securing, securing the end. The tent crew going now. Sharpedo picking up two kills. So Conkeldor comes in and he's at 26, so yeah. Bikes. It takes reduced damage from Stealthrock. Oh, this is actually a good. A good. Uh, oh, this is annoying. I'll protect there. to do because if I bring a Suicune he's just gonna heal off my Suicune that does can still beat his Zapdos so I think I just let Sharpedo die safe this way oh oh fuck I actually threw through. I should have waterfall 100%. Oh my god, no. Okay, Suicune, this is why we burned a sleep turn. Should have waterfall because he was gonna die to burn, and like I said, I think Septos can beat his Septos. Oh god. Wake up. Oh! Okay, so I, he slept for two turns. This is the third turn. Most of the times they wake up on this turn. Don't give me max sleep turns, please. He should be in scald range. Okay, we woke up! And it's enough, okay. So we knock out this Conkeldor. Oh, all he has left is Zapdos. Um, I assume he's gonna roost there, because otherwise he dies to scald. Well, I might as well fish for a burn here. I do get the burn. Cool. Might as well go for all my dear. Maybe. Maybe I'll knock him out. The damage is not gonna make a difference anyway. If 
I'm pretty sure he knocks me out, but maybe, maybe I'll live and I'm gonna rest there. I don't live, but like I said, I got the damage out there. And Epto should live. Yes. And I assume I'm faster. And with the burn, it should even be easier. Just for Heatwave, 48. If he crits me with this, like, that's gonna be annoying. I keep roosting. He attacks, he should be in range, right? Well, I'm actually not sure if I'm not coming out. I, I don't wanna. I can play it slowly. I can go for a better. for a better roll. Roost. And I'm just gonna roost once more. We're just gonna secure this. He discharges. But there should be no way he's gonna kill me there. And if he attacks me, he's gonna die on the next turn. So I'm gonna HP Ice here. As he does decide to attack me, and this is where I should not come out. Yeah, man. <laughs> Did we click Heat Wave just for the feels? <laughs> no, I'm gonna hurt you. <laughs> not gonna mess around here. But we do knock him out. And that's basically the game. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. A lot of misplays I made in that game. Um, that, one, that one with the Sharpedo was big. If I got unlucky there and Suicune doesn't wake up. Like, Suicune obviously should wake up there, but uh, sometimes you get them three turns sleep and wake up on the board. Luckily, <laughs> it didn't come down to that. Um, alternatively, though, uh, if I his Conqueror was at 8% and I protected that. If I actually didn't protect that and just go hard into, uh, into my Zepdos there, I don't think he would heal enough to the point where he's going to live another burn turn. And from that point, I could have brought in my, uh, my, my Sharpedo and protected, and then he would die to burn. Because if he switches switches out, he dies to hazard. Because um, his, his Septos was in range of my Sharpedo after Stealth Rocks, uh, so I could have maybe I should have gone for that play. Obviously, I'm not really sharp at the moment. I'm not playing consistently anymore. Um, but I try to keep it up for you guys. <laughs> keep up the content. Um, yeah. L literally a lot of misplays. Uh, I think I named them, most of them. But we still managed to pick up that W. Uh, if you did enjoy the battle, guys, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Leave some love down below for uh, Sharpedo in the comments. Because he did pick up the kill on a Tentacruel on the Landorus. <laughs> So, put in some work, and if I actually didn't misplay my Sharpedo, he could have done more. He could have literally won a game, actually, if I just, if I didn't protect with Sharpedo and just go into my Zepdos there. And obviously, if he click Mock Punch instead of Drain Punch on my Zepdos sack, then he was going to die 100% the following turn. And I think I should have made that play instead of... Protecting with Sharpedo against the 8% HP Conkelder, I should have just go gone straight into Zepdos. And then brought in Sharpedo to protect, get the speed boost so I outspeed his Zepdos and knock out the Zepdos. But yeah, um. That's what it is. It is what it is, guys. Anyway, I check out my Discord server and link in the description. Check me out on Patreon as well. And follow me on Instagram, guys, uh, if you want to keep updated. In my life, I try to post that regularly as well. It's all linked down below. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace out and see you guys next time.